one way to make your zoom meetings more interesting is to incorporate games inside when you're having a zoom meeting so one platform that do that is kahoot so in this video i am going to show you how you can integrate kahoot in zoom so that you can play it inside the zoom platform itself and yeah have fun together with all the meeting attendees or participants with that let me go into the computer and i can show you exactly what exactly is kahoot and how you can integrate it with zoom let's go let's talk a little bit about kahoot for those that don't know what is kahoot kahoot is like an interactive website where you can create like questionnaires quizzes trivia and things like that so this is something to make like the online meeting more engaging so you can connect it to zoom like like the purpose of this video and you can use it to play with other people in the same meeting as well so this is actually quite easy to create but before that there's two different websites one is kahoot.com and one is kahoot.it both of them are from the same company the only difference is kahoot.com is a place where you manage everything it's like a dashboard right where else for kahoot.it is a place where you got the pin from the once you create like for example trivia you get a pin put the pin here and then when you click enter you, get, you can play already so now just create this one this kahoot account is free just sign up and you can try right but there is some limitation uh, let me show you the limitation in a bit right let me just log in first so just log in all right i'm currently using the kahoot free plan you can check on the plan and pricing see which one that you like let me just click on here so for example if you have a meeting with fellow friends and you want to play so this is you can see it's free if you want that's five dollars per month as well so it depends on which one that you want so for now i'm using free just to show it to you and you can see that there's a limitation as well the players that you can have for free is 10 only only when you pay you become 20 and when you pay premium you can have 50 players so uh, something to take note because it happened to me i was about to launch it to a team with a lot of people but luckily we found out that it is only to 10 so at the end we have to cancel the plan so this is something for you to take note okay so now let's go back to kahoot so i'm not going to talk much about creating the questionnaire or the trivia all you have to do is click the word create and you can do it accordingly i already have two tests which i want to try so there's four questions you know and i'm going to show you a little bit how it's going to be played so the the game are already created so all you have to do is just click on the for example test questions i have some test questions ready and then i just click on word play choose word to play there's two ways i'll just click host because i want to play it live usually so kahoot is now loading team versus team um, usually standard i put classic it means one-on-one -on -one. because kahoot is is fine in a way because kahoot measure how fast is it that you click on the answer as well so they measure not only the right answers they also measure the time so sometimes when you click it fast you have better score all right I, I would prefer to put show question and answer on player device if not they cannot see the question and answer so i click this on but on normal it is off so click it on the rest all is up to you accordingly right so i just put, click classic so for now you see that that's game pin so that's the reason why they have two different websites one for you to manage and one is for you to maybe just play right so when you go to kahoot.it the moment you put the pin in just enter uh, for example i take ken right then you can see the name on screen which is ken so you're in all right now let me show you in zoom so in case some people don't want to go play in browser you can go to zoom and let me just open a zoom so you can see zoom here where do you find the apps as you can see this one of the new feature you see the security participant chat share screen record reaction apps click on apps i don't think you can use it on mobile it's only uses computer so uh, something to take note all right so uh, i already have kahoot uh, installed uh, inside here but uh, if you want to find it, all you have to do is just go discover then you can find the names here just search forward kahoot mm, discover more apps so this is app marketplace all you have to find is find kahoot then sign in to install agree and it's installed right so there's many different apps so just you can explore whichever that you want there's another one there's panda dog pixels virtual background there's many things so actually kahoot is just here so you can just play it right so once you install you just click on it it may take some time for install if you're new because i've already have it installed but for now just keep it as a way right so now click open and you can see right there's a got the game pin already just click here to join kahoot then you see same same page as what you see in the kahoot.it all you have to do is just put in the pin enter nickname okay go 
So now let's go back to here. As you can see now, if you're a host, you can see there's two people come in. I mean, this is usually there's someone that's, that's moderating this and there's someone that's playing. I'm just showing you how you can just have, have it installed inside your platform, right? And now you click start. And you can see, I'll just come into here. Then you can see here, right? It's getting ready. So there's one quiz, which continent has the highest number of billionaires in the world. So you can see the question here as well. And then they have a time for you to see a question. And then you have selection, USA, Europe, Asia. And then there's, there's the timer. So this is what I mean by timing. They'll check the time. Okay, just pick, for example, let's pick one. Remember at the start, I asked you to take the thing to show the question and answers here. If not, you won't be able to see the question answer. You only can see the color, right? So you can see the answer streak, right? Uh, then you require the host. Uh, for, in my case, it's a host to click next, and then you can see that um, I did not answer, right? And then click next. Second question. So I go to here. I'm not sure as well. All right. So basically, that's it. Right? I don't need to go through all the questions, but basically this is how you do it, right? In Zoom. So imagine if you are having a conference meeting, you have like for example a few faces here then on, the, on your right hand side then you get to play uh, the zoom you get to play kahoot right uh, usually there'll be a diff different host so you might see a bit confusing when i alternate tab to different tabs so uh, hopefully it don't confuse you but basically it's just as simple as that all right hopefully this is useful for you for you to make your meeting more engaged and yeah so i show you a little bit on how to play and how do you have it in zoom yeah let's make your meeting more engaging so see you I hope you like what I shared. So use Kahoot to make your Zoom meeting more interesting. Now, if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Ken and I help businesses to grow using digital marketing. And if you're interested in topics such as digital marketing, entrepreneurship, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell because this channel talks about these two things. So yeah, if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.